This slide is entitled Endometrium Hyperplasia. Please note that in the uh, usual endometrium, premenopausal, you have here endometrium. You have both these glands, what you see here, 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 and you see stroma, which is the connective tissue between the glands. In addition, some of these glands involve the very superficial layers of the myometrium as well, because this is predominantly, actually entirely smooth muscle over here. Please notice the general proportion between glands and connective tissue. Now, in the top field here, we have a concept called hyperplasia, or increased glands. And in hyperplasia, the glandular elements are increased. And here we can see that there are a lot of glands. And not only are there a lot of glands, but some of them are a little bit closer to each other than they should be. There is a predominance of glands relative to stroma. This is called hyperplasia, which is defined anywhere as increased in number of cells. Hyperplasia of the endometrium is due chiefly to increased levels of the hormone estrogen. Is hyperplasia a malignant process? No. Is it a premalignant process? Actually, no. But prolonged hyperplasia in the presence of other carcinogenic influences uh, would pre tend to pre predispose towards carcinoma or adenocarcinoma of the endometrium. Another feature which helps us to differentiate hyperplasia from uh, perhaps carcinoma is the amount of stroma between the glands. Please notice that even though these glands are all very much increased, there's always a little bit of stroma between the glands and they are all relatively separate from each other. They are not back to back. In, for example, a malignant process, you could very well see these glands coming directly back to back with this gland in which there is no intervening stroma. And here you have a nice amount of uh, stroma. Also notice that within the glands themselves, of course you can see increased mitotic activity, but that in itself would not be a criteria for malignancy. This is hyperplasia of the endometrium. Thank you very much.